You're watching Duct Tape and Popsicle Sticks with Mike and Maria Kaiser. Because sometimes you feel like your business is being held together by duct tape and popsicle sticks. On this show, you're not going to hear the latest business fad. You're going to get useful information that you can apply to your own business right now. Hello and thanks for watching another stupendous episode of Duct Tape and Popsicle Sticks. I'm Mike Kaiser along with a woman who once had to call the operator to get the number for 911, Maria Kaiser. How are you? That's, that's a good one. Moving on. Thank you so much for joining us and being, and being part of our show. We love having you along. As usual, everything you need to know is uh, in the show notes below, how to get to our other videos, our podcasts, our website, all that great stuff. But in the meantime, I think we should just get going, even though you haven't even smirked once since we started <laughs> the show. Um, I, think, I was trying so hard to maintain my composure. You did a great job. I think today's show is more about mindset than necessarily a particular activity. Mm -hmm. And what I mean about that is we're finding sometimes, not everybody, but a good percentage of business owners that we deal with regarding marketing are a little bit reluctant to bring the spotlight on themselves. Yeah. Yeah. We're taught to be humble. We're taught to not stand out. Um, we've had a number of people say, gosh, are we going to post something on social media every day? Mm -hmm. I mean, people are going to, aren't they going to get sick of it? Right. They're just going to tune out. Um, sometimes reluctant to be bold or edgy in our communications because we don't want to stand out. And we don't want to make waves. We don't want to seem obnoxious. There's so many right. things that go along with that. Like, oh, you're just going to, you know, pound it, pound the, the message across and at some level you are going to pound the message across but, uh, right. but you don't have to be obnoxious about it well exactly that's where i wanted to go yeah. because we've done shows about communication mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. and i think sometimes people might be equating um being out there and assertive with their marketing communication to being obnoxious just like you've pointed out that sometimes people are reluctant to be assertive in their communication mm -hmm. because they're afraid of coming across right. as aggressive. Right. And, you know, I was watching, the reason this show came up, I was watching a documentary last night about the band The Eagles. Mm -hmm. And it was, they were a great band, they were a great group of musicians, but two of them, Glenn Fry and Don Henley, were also all about promotion mm -hmm. and trying to get their name out there and trying to be one of the biggest rock and roll bands in the country and they knew okay we're making great music mm -hmm. so if we're not going to be out there promoting it who's going to be out there promoting well, it? Well precisely so most people are not thinking about you ever. Mm -hmm. I mean I guess sometimes they are so if they're not ever thinking about you you need to remind them that you exist and you know, when we suggest posting something on social media every day, people are initially taken aback. But that's saying that somebody is watching your Facebook page 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and they are constantly paying attention to what you're writing. They're not doing that. So posting every day will capture people's attention whenever they're on Facebook or LinkedIn or Instagram or, or whatever. Um, emails once a week. No, people aren't necessarily reading your emails once a week, but going into their someone's inbox once a week so they don't forget who you are and they can count on, I'm going to see that, and when they need something, they'll, oh, okay, yeah, they just recently sent me something. You know, I, so <laughs> you just brought, you just got my, my, my juices going here, and I apologize, this video is going to run just a tiny bit longer than they usually do, but you just prompted something mm -hmm really really important if your emails or your social media posts are all about we're awesome by our shit then yes as often as you're posting that is too often right if you are providing honest to goodness good value right. and good content and you're helping people through the information that they're getting just like if the Eagles wrote a record, they didn't put out a record that had one song on it. They put out records that right. had 14 songs on them. Right. So don't be afraid to put it out there if you're providing something of value. If you're not providing something of value, then by all means, 
Stop. And, and something of value is what would your customer be looking for? So if I am your potential customer for IT, I would want to know, do you keep my machine running? Uh, do you help me with, with other things other than when my, my IT breaks? What, what is it that you can help make this easy? Right, and provide value. And provide right. value. So sometimes a tip, but maybe I just want to know how are you going to help me and keep showing me how you're going to help me. Show me how other customers uh, feel about y the use of your product, so on and so forth. So it might feel uncomfortable because you feel like you're bragging about yourself and so often we've been told not to, but show me what my experience is going to be. Show me how I can trust you. Show me that you're user friendly, so on and so forth. And that can feel uncomfortable. It can feel bold, but it's just the truth. And if you have something great and you keep it to yourself, then that's almost selfish. There you go. So show me, and I would add, make me feel about make it. Me feel, right? Make me feel about it. Right. So again, this one went a little long. We hope you don't mind, but we just got into, we kind of went off on a tangent here. But do you have anything else you want to add? No, just, um, you know, play around with it and watch how other people who maybe are bolder marketers um, or at least people that are getting lots of business, watch how, how they're doing stuff. You know, we, we knew a guy years ago, and this was before the internet necessarily. Um, but he would go through 500 business cards in a couple of months. Why? Because everybody he saw, he handed them a business card. Now, did he say, here, buy my stuff, uh, buy my stuff today? No, but he gave them the information. So in case they needed to have it handy, they had the information. There you go. Very well said. So thanks for your patience. We, we appreciate you hanging out with us. But we thought it was really important. We hope you found some value in it as well. Once again, please go check out the rest of our stuff. But in the meantime, you've been watching Duct Tape and Popsicle Sticks, where we make your business better most of the time, three minutes at a time. Ciao for now. <laughs> You're watching Duct Tape and Popsicle Sticks with Mike and Maria Kaiser.